Redfest DXB 2019 live Dubai Media City Amphitheater is so excited to have Jax Jones. Yes. Hey. Welcome. I'm excited too. This is funny. We get people either before their set or yeah. after. So this is your this is your look pre-show. You look very relaxed and calm. This is my look pre-show. Yeah. This is my uh this is my look cuz there's no iron. So uh <laughs> I'm currently just sporting my whole situation. Okay. It's, it's gonna be the look after show as well. Maybe a bit more sweaty. You say there's no there's no iron? Yeah. Do you want me to get you one in here? I can get an ironing board and we can press you. I only yeah. take high ends from like Harrods, you know, they need oh, to be okay. gold plate, oh, you know. High so, end, yeah, high yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, like I don't know if you can cop my iron, you know. <laughs> I mean it's Dubai, it's highly likely that we'll oh, be able man. to find what? it. Listen. No, it's cool. I just couldn't bother to get changed. So, yeah, this is here. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the stage look. It's good. This is, it is what it All is. Right. Like, it's like little Vetmont banger, you know, bit of top man, keeping it low key. I'm like Kate Moss, you know? <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, we're excited to have you. Um, Red Fest DXB, first time you've been here for our festival. First festival that I've done here ever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you've excited. done festivals before. I've though, done right? festival. Yeah. But I'm festival experienced so <laughs> what are they, okay okay can you i don't know just i know you haven't been here for long but we we love to know how we're doing could you grade us so far like how does this festival look compared to the other festivals you've done in terms of like let's go through a category well okay well beauty first of all because i think oh. we have the most beautiful people in dubai right yes that's, agreed that's, oh that's so nice isn't it yeah they're very beautiful actually i feel like everyone's an instagram model here yeah so, yeah. yeah everyone Excellent. is an instagram exactly. model here i've seen you though on instagram and you have this pose can you do this pose for the camera real quick it's kind of which like, one it's like this that's the is that the jacks jones pose well this is an evolution pose, yeah? So before, the international man pose was this, yeah? Yes. yes. Then if you're, the evolution of that is that. Okay. Right. And it's so good so that even next? girls yeah. Yeah. Next like, is Mabel does it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The next one, like, you've got like, people that, you know, do the full, like, they cover their whole yes. face. That's yeah. like another That's level. <laughs> I haven't got to that level of evolution you're yet. I'm like level up. one. <laughs> Those, those people already living in 2020. Yeah, that's We're what I was saying. I'm just like the point guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, right. let's talk about the evolution of your music, <laughs> actually. Oh, nice segue. Thank you so much. Way. Um, So Dubai here is a place where we've got loads of people from all sorts of different cultures, all sorts of different influences. And I know that you actually have grown up with lots of different cultures. How has that and the music from those cultures influenced what you're bringing to us today here at Redfest? Oh, wow. Well... As a musician, you can only make what your influences are. You can pretend you're something else, but you only like can carry that going, carry that on for so long. So like my influences are obviously a lot of rap, a lot of R and B, and then the more commercial leaning of dance music. And then over the years, I got deeper and deeper. And then I just bring all those elements that I found like techno now, and I just mesh them all together to make sing along dance bangers. That's Your essentially what sound. I do. Yeah, essentially. I didn't realize I had one until, yeah, in the last year. I was like, oh, this is good. You do, <laughs> and we love it here in the UAE. We play all your big hits on yeah, Virgin Radio no, as well. I appreciate that. And I was seeing, they even singing my new one with Oli. Like, how long Oh, yeah, we're obsessed with I that I was like, song. yo. I think, I think that's think one of my favorites. It. I was going to cut it from the set. <laughs> no, no, please <laughs> don't. It's one of yeah. my favorites. <laughs> so, it's so good. Please. Okay. Uh, Speaking of fact, your collaborations, play it twice. Play it twice. Oh, yeah, play it twice. All right. Your collaboration with Years and Years, I love. You've collaborated with a lot of amazing artists, and we have a lot of amazing artists that are joining us for this festival as well. We've got Camila Cabello, Macklemore. Oh, Yesterday oh, we yeah. had uh, amazing DJ Snake. So, are there any artists that are here today that you would love to collaborate with? I mean, if I run into Macklemore, Camila Cabello, I'll be like, "Yo, let's do a song." If there's a studio in Dubai, I'm going there tonight. All right, we'll have to make <laughs> that happen somehow. Please do. Is that how things like that work? You just you run into people, or or do 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 manage and things get in the way and they say hey hey we we've got this for you it can happen both ways like um you can kind of reach people by their management and if the material is good enough it'll break through all the material that they get sent yeah. or it's better to kind of have a personal relationship at, not to like become best mates but it's just like okay do you know what i've got this what do you think and then at least you get a response straight away yeah, yeah but then yeah. that can still mean it doesn't come out even yeah. if you record 20 songs so it's just uh like element of chance you know yeah of course, of course speaking of collaborations that didn't come out i know you're probably getting asked this a lot nah, we want to know, know what you're gonna ask yes i want to know what is happening with that selena gomez collaboration nothing nothing <laughs> no so we're have, never wait, gonna wait, hear it you have a phone on you right now right yeah yeah, yeah. that song is on that phone yeah, yeah, yeah can we hear it well on my email yeah sure just play you it know, there's 10 seconds flying around online we want to hear, we more hear, the <laughs> we hear at least 11. i can't literally 
it's just not worth the headache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what, I mean, is that that's got to be extraordinarily frustrating? Oh uh, yeah, no, like maybe like three years ago, like it was frustrating, but oh, this has been going on for three years. Yeah, yeah I've I did it for not ages. Know that. Like, uh, but maybe three years ago that was frustrating, but it comes and goes, and now we've experienced like that's just the way it is, you know. And yeah. I'm gonna write more songs, and I've had big songs, like, yeah. and I enjoy playing those. And what lesson? Can you tell me what lesson you learned from that? Because at that point, when you do this song with Selena Gomez, you're like, I made it now, yes. boy, this, this is Selena Gomez. I got it now, this is happening for me. And then it doesn't come out. Well, I mean, what lesson did you learn from that? Um, I just learned, I just learned to kind of focus on music as a craft. So you just keep writing more songs and yeah. record more music, work with more people, enjoy that. And then the one that's supposed to come out will come out. That's the way I see it. You don't, also like my biggest hits are with people that you don't know who they are. Like when you first hear yeah, them, like yeah, Ray yeah, yeah. was huge for me. And you know, we were just two people from Southeast London. Yeah. It's not like she ain't got millions and millions of Instagram no, followers. I read how that happened. This yourself. involved Uber. This involved yeah, Uber, right? Yeah, all sorts. Like, well, so it's kind of like, how can I describe it? it from, in my world, I've learned that it doesn't matter yeah. and you can have a whopper and it depends on the song. Yeah. You know? doesn't and matter. And sometimes just the right chemistry with the this right person, it. no matter yeah. who they are, right? And timing. You could, I could do a song with Selena and then it might do nothing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's true. <laughs> look at all these guys out here. It's kind of cool to you be fair. You got bands looking at yeah. you trying to take hey. pictures waving at you. <laughs> now look at that. You see that? What is that? This one has this no hands. I didn't know people in Dubai ain't got no hands. <laughs> no. He's just got a cross and a square just ready. What hey. do you, what do you so say? Excited. What do you say to your fans right now before you go on stage here at Redfest DXB? Just don't cook with those hands. <laughs> <laughs> Jax They're cool Jones. though, man. Look, Jax the, Jones. Hey. hey. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, no, real quick, real fast. What do you want to say to the fans? Dubai, about to get on stage, Redfest DXB. What do we expect? Um, well, it's always a surprise to me when I come to another country and people care and want to hear the song. So I'm super excited. I can see why everyone kind of gathering around. It's going to yeah. be sick. So I'm gassed. I'm going to bring the energy and let's do this. Right. <laughs> Love it. Jax Jones on stage, Redfest DXB. One time, come on. <laughs> <laughs> cool.